Hi all, I am Anusha Kannapan from VG API support team. Today in this video we will try to cover the following. A brief overview of VXML, call flow of the sample VXML script, configuration steps, finally the walkthrough of the code as well as the debug logs. The following slide shows the component that can be configured as part of a VXML application installed on a Cisco Voice Gateway. Basically, applications written in VXML provide access through a voice browser to content and services over the telephone, just as HTML provides access through a web browser running on a PC. When a telephone call is made to Cisco VXML enabled gateway, VXML documents are downloaded from web servers, providing content and services to the caller, typically in the form of pre-recorded audio in an IVR application. The following is an example of a call flow for a VXML sample application. The caller dials a number to invoke the VXML script that is being configured to the incoming dial pair on VXML enabled gateway. Now the caller hears the welcome prompt and prompted to enter the destination number that they wish to reach. Cisco IOS VXML transfers the caller to another party that is based on the destination number that was entered by the caller. The call party is connected to the caller or else based on the availability of the call party, the appropriate audio is being played. Once the call is established, based on who disconnects the call first, the script receives either near end disconnect or a far end disconnect. The duration of the call is printed at the end of the call. Coming to the configuration steps, load the script into flash or any of the TFTP or FTP server. Also load the prompts into appropriate location. In our sample, we have just used the relative URL in the source attribute, which means it will check the audio files from where the script is being loaded. So we are placing the audio files in the location where the scripts are placed already. Because for audio playout, the language CLI configuration is not used to locate the audio files. The VXML document uses the full URI in the source attribute of the audio element. If source is in relative URL, the base attribute of the VXML element is used to form the complete URI. And if the base attribute is not present, the VXML document uses the URI from where it loads as the base. To configure the application, we need to enter into the application configuration mode type service, service name and the script location. Later to associate to the appropriate Dalpia, enter into the Dalpia configuration mode, type service, service name. Here is the output of show call application voice service name, which displays the entire script and if it is in the, not having any of the errors, it will be in the registered state. Coming to the output of show Dalpia voice, tag name, it tells this particular VXML script is associated to which dial peer and also whether it is an inbound application or an outbound application. Now let's see the application that is being loaded in the router. Here it shows the script state is in registered state the initial welcome prompt is played to the caller here and later prompted to enter the destination based on the collected digits the call is being placed to the destination number and the call is processed here final duration of the call is displayed here. This is a goodbye message that is being played to the caller. Let's see the logs of the successful call. The initial digits are dialed and the test VXML script is invoked. Welcome prompt is being played to the caller here. The 
enter the destination or your prompt is played and based on the digits collected the call is being established to that destination number once that is done the call setup done will be in the CS active state and based on who disconnects the call the appropriate message will be captured and displayed in our example the call is being disconnected by the caller call party so it shows call party disconnected and the value of the call is far and disconnected and the duration of the call is 22 seconds finally the goodbye message is being played to the caller for debugging you can enable the following debug debug wipe application vxml so with this we'll come to the debugging session for more queries and information you can log in to our site developer.cisco.com slash web slash vgapi slash forums where we have two categories one for TCL IVR scripts and the other one for vgapi for raising your queries you can enter into the vxml api category and we also have the documentation session where we have placed the sample scripts along with the developer guide so with this you'll be able to develop your own scripts hope this video is useful for starting with your vxml scripting happy scripting thank you